Hey everybody, it's Dina Rico with the Creativity Cave and I'm thrilled with how awesome these cards turned out. Aren't they adorable? Super duper simple. Love the design, but how awesome are they in all these different colors? So I'm using the Totally Trees stamp set, which is new in my, um, in my, how like I did it, the holiday catalog, the holiday catalog. Anyway, the Totally Tree set is so awesome. It has all these different trees. And of course, I think this sort of looks like a cross between a tree and a leaf, but I love it as a background. So I have Old Olive. I have Tip Top Taupe. I have Soft Sky with Dapper Denim. I have Cajun Craze rich raspberry and delightful Dijon. So let me show you how easy these gorgeous cards are. And I think what a cute set of cards. And of course, you don't have to have all of them be thanks. You can do a variety of greetings, but I really like that. And frankly, I am in dire need of some thank you cards right now. So that's why I picked it <clears throat> and made a whole bunch of heat. But let me show you how easy it is. So uh, all the details and uh, dimensions and whatnot will be on my blog. The link will be in the description of the post of this video. And I have to tell you, do you hear my voice? It sounds a little like, like I'm losing it a little. That is not good. My daughter has her, there's like only one or two home cross country meets. And this week it's the home meet. And I really have to tell you that this might, this might surprise some of you. The rest of you are like, yeah, whatever, Dina. I am by far the loudest mom cheering. It was pretty funny because one of the new girls on the team this year, she's like, well, my mom's pretty loud. I can usually hear her. And Ella's like, yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> um, I do like to make sure that my daughter can hear me no matter where she is on the 5k course. 5k, by the way, is 3.2 miles. That's right. She can hear me. Anyway, <laughs> Um, I think it's possible that this is the result of the last meet I attended, which was last Thursday, where I screamed pretty loud. But I stand by my loudness because she says it helps her and I am nothing if not a supportive mom. Okay, so I'm going to do this next one in uh, early espresso. So I have my early espresso ink. I'm going to take my, um, this is like the background piece, stamp it off, and then uh, I'm just going to stamp on my card like so. And then, oh my gosh, this could be, oh, I just smudged it. Dang it. Hey, when that happens, don't you? It happens to me um, a little bit more often than I'd care to admit because for some reason I am one messy girl these days. I'm not sure what my deal is. Okay, so I have two. Oh, and these are crooked. Well, we'll just make do. Man, you'd think it would be a Monday morning or something, but it's not. Okay, so then I'm going to do upside down in between. And then actually it's funny when I first made this one, I was like, oh, how am I going to do the next row? And I think I did it wrong but it doesn't matter. So I s flipped it over <laughs> and stamped it because I couldn't keep up this tight tree border, whatever, um, like that. But I don't, I don't know. I like how it turned out, so I'm happy. It doesn't matter. <clears throat> and I'm kind of a little spastic. So, you know, really, I just, if I went in a little tighter here, I'd have it. Whatever. Do you like my random ramblings while I'm making cards? Because sometimes I wonder about myself. This is what happened when you don't talk to people enough. Although, since I've hired my assistant, she's been listening to me ramble. Yesterday, I kind of had an epic rant about my son because he's been kind of naughty lately. And um, <laughs> she was very sweet to listen to me. Because I kind of want to strangle him most days. Which is unfortunate, because he can be very sweet. Last night, he lost a tooth at 11 o'clock at night. <laughs> and, um, I will just warn you, because I have some adult content to, to share with you right now. I've had a couple people tell me they watch my videos with kids. Um, so here's your fair warning. <laughs> so he comes into our room to show us his teeth, and he has 
long since discovered the origins of the tooth fairy. And so he asked what I did with his teeth. And I said, I don't know. I think I threw them away because I cleaned out, I cleaned out my little nightstand drawer, which I think is where I've been stashing them for years. <laughs> and apparently that was very upsetting to him. And I kind of think that I was, when I was cleaning my drawer out, I'm like, it's a little creepy. I got a bunch of kids' teeth in here. I mean, that's kind of gross. I had them all in little baggies. So I thought, well, I should probably get rid of these, right? I mean, that's what normal people would do, right? Okay, please tell me you are all at home nodding. Anyway, I, um, he was so upset and burst into tears. Again, it was 11 o'clock at night, and I thought, oh, goodness, what, what more could happen today? So he finally settled down and went to bed. Well, then it was really funny. I just launched a stamp off of my desk. Um, then it was really funny because he's in his room, and, of course, like he full-on burst into tears. It wasn't like just a little sniffle. And so, you know, you're <clears throat> when you cry and you have to blow your nose after. So I was like, oh, my gosh. I could hear a weird noise in his room, and I thought, what is this kid doing? It's 11 o'clock at night. We have to get up early for orchestra this morning. He needs to go to bed. So I go in there, and <laughs> the sound was of it blowing his nose. <laughs> He's like, what? My nose is running. I'm like, okay. <laughs> so he went to bed after that. Oh, goodness. So I punched a designer label, decorative label, whatever this label is, and gets decorative label, punch. <clears throat> and I have this strip of paper that I stamped the greeting on. I'm just going to center it up on here so that that label sticks out on either side. I think that's a really nice design element. And then I'm going to adhere this over the top, but I will pop it up because you know me, there has to be something popped up. I mean, I haven't like squished anything yet today, but we got to pop this up. Now, I did debate spritzing these, but I kind of felt like I had a good amount of texture on here and um, I wasn't going to. I have had a couple people comment that they don't like spritzing and I thought, no, but then I also have had a couple people tell me that now they are, they have become spritzers. So I think... Um, I'm converting people. That makes me so happy. I love converting people into stuff. <laughs> I mean, just stamping related. I'm a reasonable person. Okay, so I trimmed off the edges. And if it, if memory serves me, I should have mounted it to the next layer of cardstock and then trimmed it off. But that's okay. I mean, that's just a little teeny detail. All right, so I'm going to adhere this to my card. Or I'm sorry, not to my card, to my extra layer. I just thought this makes it a little just a little bit fancier and I think by the way the greeting would have looked a little better if it was to the edge of that but that's okay details all right and then I have my card base now since this is uh, early espresso and it's so dark we can go ahead and put another layer in the inside of this card and by the way if you're wondering where the stamp is from it's from the set called um one big meaning, and I actually took and cut the thanks separately from the rest of it right there so that I could use them separately, and then one tiny word with one big meaning. So you know what I actually could do is I could stamp that on the inside. Ooh, I like that. I like that a lot. So let me grab a block, and we'll place this on here. I've got my layer of cardstock that I can place on the inside. Um, whenever I stamp something like this, I like to try it out on my scrapbook or scrapbook on my scrap cardstock to make sure or scrap paper to make sure that I have it right. And since that was upside down, it was a good test. And then I'll just stamp that right here. That looks great. And then you know what I could do? I could add a tree. I mean, why not? <clears throat> so I'll do that right down here in the corner. Love it. So that looks great for the inside. We'll adhere that in. And we will be done. Oh my gosh, I love it. Please check out my blog. Um, I have all kinds of fabulous things to share, including an online class for this stamp set that is coming. In fact, I'll be posting it probably, uh, I don't know if I'll get it on today, but probably tomorrow. So check that out. So thank you guys so much for stamping with me. You know, I always love being with you. I hope you have a great day. 
Bye.